Okay, what does it mean to be intentional? Examples. So I'm going to give a few examples, but、um, one of the simplest examples I can give you is the three things that Jesus Christ said we should do as Christ believers when you fast, when you pray, and when you do charitable deeds. Okay, so I'm going to do the when you fast. I love. To eat good food, like I enjoy eating, I enjoy the art of just just food, just experiencing food, different cultural foods, different cuisines. I love that. Okay, so when it took me years to even start fasting, so when I was led to start fasting, I despised that idea, but I had to be obedient to God, and I had to ask the Holy Spirit to give me the grace to fast. Okay, so. That is intentional. You know your weakness, and then you ask the Holy Spirit to give you the grace to do X, Y, and Z. Another example: getting up and praying early morning. I love to sleep. I love sleeping because sleep is restful, right? I used to work night shift, so I really know the benefits of sleep. And so, when I'm told to get up earlier than usual, I ask for the grace to get up. Holy Spirit, give me the grace to get up, and Holy Spirit, wake me up, wake me up at the time that you want me to be up, so we can fellowship together. For example. Those are two examples of being intentional. You know your weakness. You ask the grace to do X, Y, and Z, and then you have put the court, the ball in. You have requested the Holy Spirit to help you and guide you in something, and I promise you, He'll do it. He always comes through. He's like, He's not a man to lie, nor the son of man to repent. So. He is faithful in waking you up, in helping you, give you the grace to pull through a fast, a prayer, or whatever it may be. Now, if you're sitting there to pray in tongues because your tongues are one word utterances, it's going to take more than once or twice. It's going to take you just staying. I told you guys about the art of staying that I had to learn in the secret place, and it was me staying in that particular one word utterance and trust. The Holy Spirit will eventually take over, right? But initially, it was that mechanical rende, carende, rekan, whatever it was. I don't remember my initial word. But when you're baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire, you like your mind remembers what that one utterance was, and you're going to go back into that one word utterance. And then, in order for you to elevate into different dimensions,、um, for your tongues to expand. Just like a child, they learn a language by hearing, and by listening, and by being intentional and being introduced to new words. But your way of hearing and listening and、uh, abiding and staying is with the Holy Spirit. You're like Holy Spirit. I'm here to learn. Now the Bible says in Luke twenty、uh, four verse forty five, and it opened up their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. That's understanding scriptures, but. That understanding of scriptures for me comes in after I pray in tongues, because because you're in tongues, he opens up your understanding, and it's almost like the spirit of revelation comes, and I'm able to understand scriptures a different way. So when you are, even if it just sounds like one word, pray that one word, but ask him to quicken you to pray that Holy Spirit enliven me, quicken me to pray, quicken me to pray, pray through me. You You say at four o'clock in the morning, I'll get up every Tuesday and fellowship with the Holy Spirit to pray in tongues. That is intentionality. You set a time aside. You say, Holy Spirit, we have an appointment at this time on this date. Please help me to show up to that appointment. The Bible says He delights. In spending time with his children, so God delights in spending time with you. But you have to be intentional with spending time with God. Okay, that is what it means to be intentional. Now, after you have a system in place, it's much much easier to just move and flow, right? John three eight says, "The wind blows where it wishes." Right? Holy Spirit is also symbolic of the wind. He's a person with emotions and a will, but one of his 
one of the way he manifests is as a wind oh thank you holy spirit i feel him so strongly right now and you hear it sound but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes so it is with everyone who is born of the spirit so being a born again christian one who has relinquished their will their wants their desires to align to god's desires god's will god's wants um you're going to be moved in different ways it might be every single day it might be different but the point for you is initially it would take intentionality it would not be like oh i'm going to i'll pray whenever i feel like it you will never feel like praying that's just not part of our natural state in order for you to do supernatural things such as praying such as fasting uh, speaking in tongues for long periods of time praying for the people who need to be prayed for those are supernatural things and that are not done from your carnal natural self it requires intentionality initially to be able to even do supernatural things naturally I hope you caught that. In order to do supernatural things naturally, it requires to initially be intentional, to initially get to know the character of God, to initially get to spend time with God. So then God can mold you. God can help you just be flexible with him. Guys, the flexibility comes in after you have um, gone through the wilderness season. That's what I believe after you've gone through the winning season um you have learned to depend on god he brings you provisions he feeds you like the children of israel they were given quail every single day they got manna from heaven they learned to depend on god and god alone then they entered they entered the new promised land having come into covenant with god at um uh at Gibeah Harareth and then at Gilgal where um, God says I have wrote away the reproach from you right so they came in covenant with God and then they were able to start their battles and win all these battles and the command of the Lord appeared to Joshua mighty works things were happening for them they're acquiring land properties all these things were happening after having learned in the wilderness how to depend on God and God alone right and so then I hope you understand this but intentionality is it takes intentionality to be able to just move with the spirit because you have to trust him you can't move with someone you don't trust if you don't trust god if you don't trust that god is not a man to lie nor the son of man to repent you cannot um move with the spirit you cannot be flexible with how he leads you today he's saying let's do this tomorrow he's, he's pointing you to that um depending on what's happening in the spiritual realm or in ministry or whatever it may be you cannot do what he's saying or be obedient to him when you not have when you have not learned the art of depending on him you so in short intentionality helps you to build the trust in god to stay anchored in God. Job 13, 15 says, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Right, Job was at his wit's end and he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. And then another scripture I really, really like is Isaiah 26, verse three, which says, I will keep them in perfect peace, those whose mind is stayed upon me because they trust in me. I'll keep them in perfect peace, those whose mind is stayed upon me because they trust in me. So doing things intentionally initially in your walk with God helps you build the trust for God like you start to trust in him you start to ask questions he answers um, request something and he answers he breaks you out of bondages all of that is helping you build your faith and your trust in him okay but it does not just happen just kind of falls on your lap for you to be like oh I trust in God no it takes a relationship and just like you go on dates or you'd go to court courtings with a person that you're interested in 
Same thing with God. Intentionality helps you build trust between you and your creator. I hope this helps you. God bless. Goodbye and have an awesome, awesome weekend. Bye.